Hello everybody, my name is Kitty Moore. Welcome back for another video of NHL 21 Franchise Mode. We're going to continue this series. Now, in the last video, if you guys missed it, go ahead and check it out right away. Uh, you missed a lot. We finished off the season. We, we entered the playoffs and managed to uh, go undefeated in the entire playoffs to win our third cup in five years. Uh, fantastic. We finally did it again. We won the cup, boys. I don't think the the problem with this game is it's very hard to win two cups in a row. So I don't know if we're actually going to get lucky twice and win another cup, boys. But uh, let's simulate to the draft uh, draft lottery, I guess. We're going to take a look at uh, whoever retired this year. Probably a, a couple more retirements that are worthy of name, right? Nashville is going to get the very first draft lottery. The New York Islanders run from 15th to 2nd. Really? Good lord, all right. And uh, Buffalo, Vegas, Pittsburgh, Montreal, Columbus. All right, so you got all these players right there. And uh, let's find out who retired this year. We're about to find out, boys. We had a fantastic season. Uh, Matt Murray, literally, by making me, like, he gave me the cup. So he definitely convinced me to uh, to keep him, that's for sure. Uh, forwards, we did lose uh, Steven Stamkos. So Stamkos decided to retire. Backstrom retired as well. He finished off in the minors, it seems like, though. Uh, Pavelski they retired as well as a free agent. And uh, Paul Stashny, Jamie Benn, boys, Logan Couture, Pacioretty, Duchesne. So a couple of players here. Uh, three big-time players. The rest, uh, a couple of all-stars. So interesting right there. So as you can see, we're starting to really, like, lose the big-time names that we all know about, right? We all know these players. We're starting to gonna we're gonna start to at the eighth year, uh, basically see a bunch of new names and stuff. John Carlson, 921 points as the, as a defenseman, a fantastic career for him, boys. A really fantastic career. Side to tear to retire. Duncan Keith retired, boys, at 43 years of age. Good lord. Chris Latin retired at 40 years. Okay, and uh, PK Subban, boys, retired as well. All right, so. You can see there's a lot of names, a lot of names that um, we're gonna uh, we're starting to let go of. Bobrovsky, Bishop, Varlamov, all these guys, they're all retiring, boys. Now I didn't see Malkin, which means Malkin is still in here, boys. He's still he hasn't retired yet. Maybe he wants to try one more year under our management, see if he wants uh, can win another cup. Maybe I don't know, but uh, let's find out. So we did lose Sorensen, Marcus Sorensen, 35 years of age, really. I guess he decided to retire, boys. Goalies, nothing. All right, so we just lost uh, Sorensen on our end. Uh, let's continue. So Max Pacioretty is now a scout. And uh, doesn't seem like there's any coaches coming up. So we are good on that part. Let's find out. Coaching staff. Do we have any problems on our side? Doesn't seem like it. We're good. I think it's going to tell us once we get out of the draft lottery. So we can enter the draft lottery right away. See if we can't make any trades. So let's do that. Uh, maybe we can up our entry to the trade lottery. Now, Nashville, from what, I, what we know, almost every single year so far, I had a medium franchise player as the uh, first overall. So well, maybe they're going to get lucky uh, as well. So one, two, three, and four. Yeah, I think I want to try and get to the 26th pick. Now, uh, now, the thing is, I already like pretty much got rid of a couple of prospects here. While trying to make some trades earlier on. So, might not work. Uh, you never know though. We might get lucky. Uh, maybe a top four could work. Like a top four player and stuff. Oh, it did. It did work. So, there we go. Gave them a, a low top four, boys. Just like that. And we moved up by five. Let's try to move up again by another five. A 21st pick right there. Uh, we're going to try and move up as quick as possible right here. Move up uh, as far as we can, really. So there is a low top six right here available. Let's uh, try and uh, give them that. Accepted. There we go. We're 21st pick now instead of 31st. Moved up by 10th pick just like that, boys. And uh, now it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 16th pick. Let's try and get that. I got a lot of prospects, boys. So I can definitely uh, trade for some... Uh, so for some good prospects and all. Low elite. This guy's coming up. It's coming up uh, uh, slowly. What about uh, Tulipov guy, right? This Tulipov guy could be a good one. I, I much prefer getting rid of this guy, though. Medium elite. Oh, 
actually medium top six i can probably get a little bit further uh from him so i'm 21st pick i could probably get the f 11th pick for this guy so i'm going to try and get the 11th pick boys uh just like that you never know right you can get lucky and get uh, a really high pick so uh this clearly uh, clearly guy clearly there we go trading him medium top six we're gonna trade him if i can get a medium elite player boys it's much better you know so top five i can pro well i can try i can try right here boys to get my hands on the first round pick you never know it could work it could work but uh, i don't think it's gonna work if it works though uh medium to top four uh tulipov with uh, our first our 11th pick for the first pick yeah not gonna work not quite enough we're not far uh not, not far gone not very far gone boys but uh we're gonna need a little bit more yeah so the first overall probably not gonna happen we can try the second overall right one at a time right here we can try the second overall right here let's try and get that real quick and try my best boys to get the best pick possible right here so reject it all right reject it's not gonna happen so think by if i'm try move to the fifth overall probably right that could work i'm pretty sure that could work that's uh that's good enough to the pop there we go for the fifth just like that not enough okay so not enough not even that not even the first all right let's just simulate really quick there we go. i knew it yeah medium franchise player once again uh left wing sniper for nashville it's so easy man everybody's getting these medium uh elite players uh can i get my hands maybe on the seventh pick i guess there we go just the seventh pick let's try uh and see if we can't get my hands on that boys uh I, at the seventh i can probably get uh an elite or something there's it's still possible to get one at least get in the top 10 you know all right let's go get in the top 10 there it is all right so we're for, we got the seventh pick let's find out real quick so medium elite two-way for uh, defenseman for the islanders medium elite power forward for buffalo uh, medium elite defensive defenseman for vegas medium top six for my uh, for uh pittsburgh so pittsburgh messed uh, messed up right there medium elite offensive defenseman for uh, montreal really good for them all right let's find out on our side can we find somebody boys I, i'm sure we can i mean top 10 so these guys top four top six we already know this guy is definitely going to be a medium elite right i feel like he's probably going to be one of those uh we don't know for a fact if this guy is oh one year oh one year ready this could be the guy boys in one year apostopoulos what the hell apostolopoulos what type of goddamn ridiculous name is that i gotta pick him just for the name boys right there i mean there's always chiptura but it says two years so i think we should probably go for this Asta apostolopoulos uh, guy boys let's go for him let's go for him 17 years of age ah man tops medium top six all right i missed it up i should have probably gone for the other guy let's find out really quick was he a medium elite Oh no, Chip Chura was a medium top four. All right, so I'm happy then. I'm happy about, uh, I got a playmaker right wing. A 73 overall, I'm happy. Yeah, I, I didn't miss on anything so far. Yeah, it doesn't seem like I missed out on anything. Good. I did pick up the best available player then. That's good to know. Now, second round, look at that. Look big. Ooh, medium elite goaltender right before us. All right. I got you. I got you, game. Uh, what about oh gems oh yes there's two gems as well right here guaranteed medium elites uh yeah i'm gonna pick them right away i'm just gonna pick them right away we already know so i'm gonna pick uh goaltenders right here now how uh how much they are in overall 54 overall there we go so more medium elite goaltenders boys and these type of goaltenders we got so many of them we're just gonna be able these are just gonna be trade assets let's get the other medium elite goaltender right away right uh let's uh see really quick it, it's not gonna show us okay 57 overall good so the yeah these types of goaltender we're at like three or four medium elite goaltenders now in the uh, roster and we traded one of them last year these type of goaltenders we can just literally trade them for assets trade them for better uh, for good players at the trade deadline and stuff that's literally what they're here for 
So let's get this cam guy. He's got that gem. Possible uh, low elite. Is he? Uh, is he one? Is he a low elite, boys? Hold on. He is a low elite. All right, good. So we got another elite, boys. Another great draft lottery right now. It seems like our scout was doing are doing a really good job at actually scouting uh, players and stuff. So that's that's really good. We got uh, we got everything we needed really quick. I'm gonna uh, guarantee myself a low top four really quick. Just make sure that I get that. Uh, whoa, no, I didn't mean to do that. Just want to make sure that I do get uh, the exact uh, stuff right. So. I don't uh, pick by six or whatever. Might as well pick up the top four while it's still available. Uh, next up, let's find out. Now we're pretty much in that type of area where we gotta figure it out by our own. So maybe this guy could be one. He's 19 years of age though, uh, 300. So once you start to be in the 300s is when uh, you gotta be careful. You don't wanna pick these types of guys. You wanna pick uh, like a guy like this maybe could be good. 600 as well, it's kind of risky. I want to take a risk on Elliot Woods. Uh, low top six. All right, pretty good. It's decent enough, boys. And uh, last but not least, last pick of uh, the day. Let's find out uh, if we can get lucky on one of these two guys. Uh, we're going to go for this guy since uh, the other guy is definitely not going to be a low elite, uh, an elite. There it is. Okay, so is he a low top nine? All right, so not too bad, but... What the hell is that name, though? Uh, the first round pick that we got, man. Astolopoulos. What a goddamn name. Now, we need to re-sign our AHO associate coach and AHO goalie coach. It's going to be hard to do that. I am uh, not going to lie. It's definitely going to be hard to do that. Uh, and uh, somehow, I got to convince them to come back with uh, that amount of money. I don't have the money to uh, bring them back. That's the problem. You know what? He wants to be a AHL head coach, right? That's who, that's what he wants to be. He wants to be a head coach, right? Yeah, he wants to be a head coach. Let's give him exactly what he wants. That's what he wants. Let's give him that and we'll just demote this guy. Oh, okay, I can't demote him right now, but let's demote him once we can. Uh let's I want I need you as a uh, goalie coach, my guy. Let's put him a little bit more money right here. All right, so I went ahead and re-signed the scouts as well, right? Uh, as for them, they're, they're all they're going to re-sign, so we don't need to worry about that. Now, let's go into contracts like the usual and uh, find out uh, what we have to look for for the free agency right here. So we got uh, Larkin at 92 overall. I think he dropped. We got uh, Hua, he dropped as well. Uh, hopefully, he's going to come back up, though. So one, two, and uh, so we got three players. Malkin, his contract was due, right? He, he decided to not retire. I don't know if I want him back. Uh, I am actually not going to re-sign him, even though he's been a stud for us ever since we got him, right? He's a good player. The problem is he's dropping fast, and he's probably going to be uh, a depth forward uh, more than anything else. So I just, I'm just going to drop him, right, and uh, let him go. I want a better player than that. So one, two, and three, and four maybe, possibly. He doesn't want to come back. Those Stubbits doesn't want to come back. Yeah, I don't. Um, is he uh, is, is overall good enough? Yeah, he's pretty good. Yeah, I do want him back. I want him back. Uh, I want him back. We're going to have to give him the money he wants so uh, or the amount of years he wants. So let's give him what he wants, but uh, more money, I guess. You ca you're coming back, buddy. If we go into left wing now, what do we need? Uh, Lafayette's contract is due, boys. Uh, one, two, and I guess three. So I am going to play this time around Abramov. I'm going to give him a chance. Uh, Olofsson does not want to come back. So Abramov is going to be my third, for my fourth forward, I guess, or whatnot, right? He is going to be that player. So that's pretty much that. What about you, Lafayette? Uh How is it going for you? See, that's the problem. Both his poise and discipline is weaker than uh, his overall, which is not a good thing. Not a good thing at all, boys. But he is a 91 overall, and he's our, like he's our pros he's our prospect. But the thing is, he's not producing as much. Yeah, he's not that good of a player. I'm gonna have to resign him. I can't be losing like a 91 overall player. I just can't afford it. Afford to lose somebody like that. And uh, Panarin is dropping now, so he's not in the 90s uh, anymore. So we got to keep Lafreniere, boys, at all costs. I don't really have much of a choice here. 
So he wants 8 million. He wants 6 years. I'll just give you, buddy. Uh, I'll give you the 8 year deal, actually. I'll give you maximum amount of years. And uh, you'll get the money you want. Don't worry about it. You'll get uh, exactly what you want. So 9.6 for 8 years. We're going to keep Lafrenia. Boys, we don't have a choice here. We got to keep him. Uh, we are going to need a left wing minor player. For the right wing position, we got Patrick Laine started to drop, probably. Everybody's dropping now. Uh, Wallstrom as well. Uh, we are going to need to re-sign Kako. He dropped big time, 87. God damn, all right. Uh, so we got uh, two players right now. Seems like Rackle, we could definitely find something better than him. But uh, Kako, uh, I do want to re-sign him. He's a good player. See, this is the same problem as Lafrenière. His, both his poise, right? His poise and uh, discipline is not good. Not good at all. So, do I want to keep him, boys? I am actually going to do an executive decision here and release him. Boom. We're getting rid of Kako, boys. It is what it is. We're going to see if we can get better players. Uh, we Don't worry. We'll just resign him if he's available for the free agency. If he's the only uh, player available. But... Uh, we gotta change stuff here, right? We gotta have a uh, new, new uh, faces for our team. So, uh, one and two, only two players for the minors. Uh, do we want these guys back? Uh, March, do you? Do we want you back? We definitely want you back. You're a good player. So uh, you're gonna, we're gonna have to give him the money, uh, um, uh, the one year deal, like he wants. And I guess two point five. There it is. Uh, Ronin, uh, do we want him back? Uh, I guess probably, right? Um, uh, unless we want Astopoulos back, actually. Astopoulos, is he... Well, he's all right. Yeah, he's pretty all right. He's all right. Uh, I could uh, sign him, actually. I could sign Astopoulos. I'm going to do that. I'm going to sign uh, sign Astopoulos, uh, Astopoulos, boys. He's going to be a good addition for us. We could always sign Martin as well, but he's not not quite ready yet right he's not quite there yet so we're just gonna sign this guy instead our first uh, from this year there we go you're getting signed buddy and uh, that's gonna be our four players so i only need two right wingers uh we also are gonna need a depth uh forward i guess defensive wise let's take a look uh we got one two three four i guess with karen in yeah right four players so 40 men we're going to need uh, a defensive def uh, or a depth defenseman right here and two defensemen. Uh, do I want to re-sign Klinberg? Absolutely, I do. I'm going to keep him anyways. He's been a good player for us. I I'll keep playing uh, Klinberg, boys. He's been a good player for us. Uh, three. He does want to come back, so I'll, I'll just sign him for an actual two-year deal, a uh, three-year deal. I'll sign him for a three-year deal at, uh, at 6.9, boys. Uh, so three point uh, three for five point nine five, and uh, Girard, we just got you right. You're in the ninety fives. Uh, you're pretty decent. Uh, you've been doing all right for us, and uh, you've got some really good stats overall all across the board. So uh, I do want to kind of resign uh, Girard. The problem is I don't know if there's uh, an actual better player that's going to be available here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there might be a better uh, player available. Let's just get rid of Girard. And we're going to see if there's a better defenseman available. All right. So we're going to need a defenseman for the team. A main defenseman. Uh, and a depth defenseman as well. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Five players uh, in the minors right now. We need another one. Uh, four Bs is not ready yet. So uh, it's either we keep Zaitsev or Vegeli. Uh, which one would be a better option right here? Uh, this guy's got better discipline. Same type of offensive awareness. And what about his poise? Yeah, I think I'm going to let him go. Uh, let this guy go. He's not that much of a, a, a thing. Zaitsev. Uh, do we want him back? Absolutely, we want him back. He's a good player. So let's uh, bring him back uh, for three years, I guess. For exactly the amount of money he wants. Just like that. All right, so... That's pretty much that uh, goalie wise not last but not least all right so like i guarantee you is going to be ready to play next year now he doesn't want uh, an extension he does not want to come back but i am going to force him to come back boys i don't have a choice here she's turkin still an elite player but 86 he's dropping he's actually dropping every year boys i'm keeping murray in there and uh she's I'm, I'm not 
I'm not enjoying what I'm seeing from him. What I want to do is uh, I know like is going to be ready this year to play. So I'm going to sign the like uh, really quick. Uh, he wants uh, he doesn't want to come back. So I'm going to have to give him the one year deal at uh, 2.5. I'm going to have to give him exactly what he wants right here. So just like that. And uh, we also are going to have to get rid uh, buy him out. We're going to buy out Shishturkin boys. Well, first, before buying out Shishturkin, I'm going to make sure that uh, Like does want to resign with us, right? So, just like that. So, another medium elite uh, goaltender is going to be ready. And uh, just like that, we should be all right. That's going to do it. So, yeah, Like, I guarantee you, is going to be ready for the league uh, at the season itself. So, we don't need to worry about a damn thing on that side. Let's go. Don't feel like they're all... Uh, I'm not interested in the title. All right. So, Interesting. Uh, I don't feel like the role. I'm not interested in the ch title. Okay, so the coaches don't want to... They don't want to come back, obviously. Let's find out again. I got to look at the coaches. All right, you're getting the maximum of budget that we actually have, buddy. And you're coming back as AHL associate coach. Whether you like it or not, uh, we're going to get rid of our goalie coach and we're going to have to sign him back for the actual... Uh, uh, during the free agency and stuff. That's what we're going to do, boys. So... Let's just advance the day right here. I'm happy to... Okay, so these are the scouts really quick. There we go. All the scouts. Coach, I need you to sign with me back again. Sign with me, man. That's all the scouts right here. Signing. And... Oh, you piece of shit. All right. Well, I'm going to have to get rid of him. Uh, he's not going to resign anyways. Because uh, apparently he probably wants to play in the NHL or something. Not going to happen though. I I'm just going to resign them. Uh, these two guys... Uh, during the free agency and whatnot. Uh, let me just make sure that everybody's re-signed uh, right here. So I'm not missing on, missing out on anyone. Uh, this guy Woods right here. I guess I didn't see him. Uh, I'm not going to resign you. But there we go. Release him. And uh, let's uh, let's just advance the day. Again, is there any more players available? Doesn't seem like it. Alright, so we can go into the trade. Or the, the, the free agency right now. Okay, so I am going to go for the coaching uh, coaches first. Give me a few minutes. All right, so I took care of the scouts and the coaches want, uh, once again. Let's hope that they do all re-sign and uh, stuff like that or sign with us. There's a really great player available for us right now, boys. Uh, well, he's an RFA. He's an RFA, but uh, if we take a look really quick. Medium franchise Zetterberg. Holy shit. And we do need a right wing, right? This guy could be it. This guy could be the guy. Now, we would need to uh, give that team uh, a lot of stuff. But uh, look at that guy. I mean, just a look at this man. This man is a goddamn stud. 80 points, boys. 70, 68 points. This guy is a stud. And if you took a look at his stats. Okay, so 97. He does at least have one of those stats that is better. So... I would definitely want some someone like him on my team. That's for sure. That's a better replacement than Kako for sure. I'm gonna go for him. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go for Astal right here. I'm definitely gonna go for him. A uh, right wing position. He wants seven years. I'll give you twelve mil, my guy. I'll give you twelve point five uh, seven uh, uh, seven five, uh, and uh, you accept. You do it, buddy. Oh, I accept. I'll give you I'll give you first round picks. I'll give you first round picks if I can get this medium franchise player. This is happening, boys. I can I'm definitely getting uh, getting him. I'm getting him all day every day. All right. So, we got that first right wing uh done. Uh if we continue on the right wing spot while we're at it, right? We might as well. Uh we do have Svetnikov available, so it seems like this is the guy we're going to go after because uh, he's better than Kako already anyways. And uh he's he's doing a lot of goals. Is any go uh, any good? Yeah, he's got at least two of these stats that are pretty good. So I'm picking him up. Zvechnikov is going to be a part of the team, boys. Uh, s s he wants seven years. Yeah, how about uh, I give you the seven years you want, buddy? And uh, I'll give you uh, 11.4 just to make sure that you do come, uh, you do play for us. So we're going to have a really stud right wing, uh, right wing line, boys. That's crazy. All right, so if we go back uh, backwards a little bit here, we do need a left wing, but for the miners only. So let's find out if we can find anything interesting right here. So just a, a regular, uh, anybody really. We could pick up um, uh, the other Zvezhnikov. We could pick him up. Uh, but uh, yeah, he doesn't have that many good of stats uh, right here. So 
This guy's pretty good, actually. Yeah, this guy, Rasmussen. Rasmussen's really good, so we're going to pick him up. And uh, he wants a uh, one-year deal. I'll give you, actually, I'll give you your two-year deal, buddy. I'll give you exactly the amount that you want. You're for the miners anyways, so we don't need to worry about that. All right, so that's that center position. Now it's time to choose center position. It looks like the best option could be between these guys right here. Grand, uh, between uh, Grandman, Hurdle, Veleno, Grigorenko, and Ryan O'Reilly, boys. Uh, let's find out which is the best option right here. Ryan O'Reilly is the one that wants the most money. He is uh, producing, I'm not going to lie. He's got some great stats as well. Yeah, he's got some great stats. 95, 92, 91. Uh, what about you? Not as much. Veleno, 95. Yeah, it's all right. It's pretty good. Veleno's pretty good, but O'Reilly is even better. What about you? Uh, not really. Not really. What about Grenlin? Uh, he's got two. Uh, yeah, two out of three. Two out of three, but uh, three. Uh, it's three for three for uh, Ryan O'Reilly. So we're going to go for Ryan O'Reilly, boys. And uh, he's got... Uh, he wants two years. Nobody's really going for him. I would be willing to give him the four-year deal at exactly the amount of money he wants. Four-year deal, a 7.375, boys. Exactly that. So I, I'm, I'm willing to give him that. Defense, uh, defensive side, we do need a defenseman. And that is perfect. We got an, uh, an elite player right there. So let's find out uh, in between these guys, uh, in between uh, Gerard and Escanan, which is the best option. Now, sure, he's an elite, but we got to look at the better stats, boys. So... Uh, two out of three for him. There we go. Two. Uh, this is a 87. Oh, I guess not really. Nothing at all. Uh, that's uh, I guess a one out of three. So not uh, not really. And uh, this guy has two out of three as well. Sanheim. I would better uh, go for Eskenen instead. And uh, yeah, Gerard has three out of three. See, Gerard is three out of three, boys. So. We're not going for Eskenen. The best option here is Girard and not Eskenen. Uh, Girard is the best option than uh, Eskenen. So let's go back for him again. Uh, nobody's going for him. So three years. Uh, let's give you, I guess, let's give you five years. Let's give you a five-year deal, buddy. Five years, do a 5.15, a 7.5. How does that sound for you, buddy? We do need a de depth defenseman right here. So let's go for someone in the 80 overalls right here. Let's uh, find out if anybody is good enough. Uh, and the first one I see that's pretty good, I'm going to pick him up. All right, Clag. Clag is pretty good, boys. We're picking him up. He's going to be our uh, our player for the as a depth defenseman. He wants three years. Since he's a depth defenseman, let's just give him a, a minor uh, deal. Let's just give him a one-year deal. One-year deal at uh, 1.75. Exactly that. All right, so that's what you're getting. We're going to take this uh, Rubsov guy. Seems like a good one. He's got uh, he's a 3 for 3. Uh, depth 4. So yeah, I'm going to give him a 1 year deal only. Same, uh, exactly what he wants. Exactly what he wants, boys. And uh, that is perfect. That's uh, pretty much everyone that we needed, per se. So now let's... We just got to hope that everybody signs for us, boys. That accepts our offers and stuff. So we got all these different scouts and all that um, decide to do, do sign uh, for us. I'm happy to join the team. So we got our AHL co associate coach, boys, which is an A-plus coach as well, which is very good. I just tell me, well, there we go. We got our AHL goalie coach. So this guy went from being an associate coach to from being the a a goalie coach now. So he dropped, actually, in terms of, uh, of stuff. But uh, we got the two coaches. That's perfect. We're getting all the scouts now. Hopefully, we can get the players as well. We got Clag, our depth uh, forward. We got Rasmussen. All right, that's a pretty good minor player, I guess. Uh, depth forward as well. All right, so depth forward, a depth defenseman. We got all the depth uh, players basically right now. What about the rest? Zvechnikov is uh, going with us. Zetterberg has decided to accept your offer as presented, but it's not done deal just yet. Okay, so he, he has accepted, but the team has to accept as well, though. Uh, I am not able to join your team at this time. My previous team may still decide to match your offer. Yeah. So I'm go now I have to wait. I have to wait until Zetterberg's team either matches the offer or lets it go. So that means I got to I gotta get lucky. Hopefully he accepts because if he doesn't accept, I'm going to get screwed over for the two second right, right when you're right here, boy. So 
Uh, I gotta accept. I gotta get uh, Zetterberg right here. Hopefully, I, I do get him, boys. All right, he accepted my offer, but now I really gotta be lucky. So, offer cheat. Your offer cheat to restrict it has been resolved. The Los Angeles have chosen not to match your offer. Oh, thank God. We got the medium elite. Medium franchise player, boys, as a right winger. Now, given the higher level of salary involved, you must supply four draft pick as compensation. So I'm giving them four first round picks for the next four years, basically. It's a lot. It's a lot to give them, but I can always get the, these draft picks uh, first rounds back. It's not like it's that much of a problem. I'm not. I'm fine with that. I mean, I just got myself a first. Like I just got myself a franchise player, boys. So. I'm just fine with that. I'm like, I'm going to take, I would take that all day, every day. We just upgrade our team. For uh, Capo Caco who, boys? Caco who? We got fucking Zetterberg in here, man. Forget about Caco. We got Zetterberg now. Let's see, actually, Caco, where did he go? Kind of interested. Uh, interested. Paul Boudin, boys, our former uh, play, big time prospect, right? Elite player. Went for, uh, from the under your uh, New York team. Okay, what about uh, what about the uh, our guy right here, Kako? Where did he go? Patrick Kane goes with uh, Arizona. Anybody else? Anybody that's an interesting, uh, really quick, right here. No, I don't see really anybody right here. Don't see anybody. Capo Kako, there it is, going for uh, Florado. It's just going to be with the Panthers for six years, boys. So goodbye to Capo Caco going with Florida, boys, in the south. Fine by me. Fine by me. You go with whoever you want, buddy. You're not going to win anything. Let's uh, go, boys. Now, I do have to uh, scout-wise modify my scouts really quick. All right, so I can't modify my scouts just yet. I'm going to have to do it in between the seasons. So uh, I'm going to just simulate until the season here. We're going to do like the uh, like usual, just uh, do the the... I guess the roster moves, the the lineups and everything, and we're gonna get ready to start the first half of the se season or something like that. All right, let's take a look at our roster moves, boys. Now we still have Shishturkin. We haven't traded him or uh, buy, buy, uh, bought him out, which is a good thing, actually. We might want to actually trade Shishturkin. He's got some value, right? So we wanna trade his value away uh, instead of like getting rid of him just like that for free. So uh, what do we do wanna do? Let's take a look at our roster. One, two, three, and four, with Rupsov being our depth uh, forward, of course. So, yeah, Larkin dropped, but uh, I think we're going to be fine anyways. Kurochov, okay, we're good on that side. Left uh, wingers, we got left right now, who's going to be playing on the first line this year, boys. For the first time in his career, he's going to be playing on the first line. Uh, Panarin is slowly but surely dropping quite a lot, right? He's 35 years of age. You're going to see him start to drop uh, a lot uh, over the years. And uh, we got right winger uh, Zetterberg. There it is with Patrick Laine, Zvechnikov, Wallstrom. We got three uh, players over the in the nineties for the right wing position, boys. Holy shit, that's uh, that's a lot. That's a lot, boys. One, two, three, four, five, and six are right here, and uh, seven for Clegg. Use is uh, quite literally dropped as well. Everybody's dropping. Uh, I don't know why because we won the cup for some reason. I don't know. Uh, Shishturkin still in there, 86 overall, 80 overall for uh, Brendan Like. I was kind of expecting that. Onvix is a 71 now. Uh, like you're going into the main team. Uh, you're going to be playing, and you're actually going to be our starter. Like I'm going to be putting Like as the starter, boys. I don't know if they're going to prefer uh, playing uh, Murray instead of Like, but I'm going to make sure that Like is our starter, or at least right as much as possible. And Shishturkin is uh is basically out of here. Yeah, Shishturkin is out of here, boys. He's not a good playoff performer. Uh, Murray is a good player performer. You won the cup for us last year, so thank you for all your services, uh, Shishturkin. But you're about to be out of the team real quick. I'm actually, I'm interested if I'm intrigued actually to see if there's not any goaltenders I could get. Right? Uh, maybe actually trade both Murray and. Uh, and Shishturkin away, right? P trade them both away, I guess. So, Matt Murray doesn't have any value, actually. So, no, that wouldn't happen. But uh, I could uh, I could potentially trade away Shishturkin for a good player. So, anybody wants uh, Shishturkin? 
Doesn't seem like it. We got uh, the St. George Sharks who want him. They don't have any goaltenders. No wonder they want him. Yeah, uh, not, it's not going to happen, buddy. What about uh, Montreal? Do they still have Price? I could have a, like a veteran like Price. No, no. I think Price retired or something. Yeah, that's the problem. We, I don't know like who gets, uh, who's got some good goaltenders right here. If we take a look, uh, who's got the best goaltender right now? There's not a lot of... Uh, actually, most teams don't have a goaltender. I mean, we got Samsonov right here at 88 overall right now. We could potentially get him. Uh, how does he do in the playoffs, though? How does he perform in the playoffs? Oh, wow. All right. Yeah, no, that's uh, it's quite dangerous. <laughs> I wouldn't pick that one up for the for goalie. All right. I don't see anything, boys. I literally do not see anything. Lukanen? What about this guy? What does he do for uh, the regular season? Uh, he's all right, I guess. But uh, he's actually pretty good for the playoffs, it seems like. Let's just do that, I guess. We could uh, we could literally do that and, uh, I guess, trade away as well uh, Matt Murray, right? Just give, give these two guys away. So Matt Murray and Shishterkin, both of them for Lukanen. Rejected. All right, we're going to have to give them more. So both are goalies, ex uh, are goalies right now. And uh, I don't have anything right now. Do you want a seventh round? You they don't want a seventh round. Shit. A uh, fifth round, maybe? I don't have any uh, first round or anything to give them right now. What the fuck? All right. Uh, do they want a third round pick? Third round pick, I guess. There we go. Matt Murray, Shesterkin, and a third round pick for Lukanen, boys. It might be a stupid trade from your guy, you guys' perspective. But uh, you got to keep in mind that uh, I, I'm just trying to get some room for like like is ready so he's going to be our backup and lukanen's going to be our new starter for at least this year i don't know one or two years is going to be our starter right not uh not for too long uh she's turking thank you for your services buddy but you are now going to be playing uh with the buffalo sabers and murray i know you want us to cup and everything but i needed to make space so that's just how business goes boys all right, boys, so this year I decided to let the actual AI decide what they're going to do with the lineups, right? In terms of special units, I'm not going to re to spend 20 minutes doing the special units or whatever. I'll let the AI deal with it. Uh, but for the first line itself, it's going to be Lafreniere, Larkin, and Zetterberg, our brand new player. Second line, Panarin, uh, Joshua Roy, and uh, Patrick Liney, Fabry, O'Reilly, and Zvechnikov. Over, uh, Abramov, Patrick, and Wallstrom. So very solid team, boys, all across the board. Uh, Hughes with Klimbert again. Girard with Edmund, boys. And uh, Truba with Karanen. All right, so that's pretty good. And goalies, of course, Lukanen and like as a backup. Uh, now, let's take a look at the special units. I don't know exactly what they did. Uh, we should probably, be, yeah, switch that up like that. And uh, yeah, so three centers, is that right? Three centers, okay, I'll, I'll roll with it. I'll roll with it. That's the problem I don't like though, is the fact that this, like that, there we go. That's what I don't like, is the fact that uh, there's too many players right here. So Svechnikov, right? You wanna play him? You gotta play him like that. Uh, and uh, Svechnikov, you're actually gonna be playing like that. Uh, O'Reilly, you're not, uh, well, you can't play. O'Reilly can, can play, but we're gonna need a, at least a, a defensive, or a, a defenseman or something, right? And Gérard could be a really good defenseman. So Gérard, you're going in there. So at least there's that, right? We're going to at least do something decent like that. Uh, that makes sense, you know? So Lafreniere, they want Lafreniere in there. So Zvechnikov, you're going in there, I guess. They put a defensive defenseman in there. Okay. Interesting choice. Uh, we'll see how it goes for the penalty kill. Uh, right now, I am just uh, feel like uh, it's, uh, it's just fine. I do need to look at the scouts real quick, reassign them. So they um, they actually uh, look at the right people, right? All right, the scouts have been reassigned. Now it's just time to look at the captain and jerseys. Make sure it's the same ones. Uh, of course, Captain Lafreniere, Panarin uh, as assist, and Liney as assist. We're actually going to change that. Panarin, uh, you've been a great uh, alternate for us, but now it's time for Zetterberg to be uh, obviously an alternate. And uh, Line you can stay an alternate if you want. I feel like, though, it would be fun for uh, Quinn and Hughes to actually get the alternate. He deserves it. We need a defenseman to have the alternate. So 
let's get that like that and uh, i think that's it that's it right there so we can start the simulation up we're gonna uh sim the regular uh the preseason right here get straight into the regular season we're gonna do like always take a look at the preseason see what our record's gonna be if we need to change anything whatsoever whatnot right so uh that's gonna be a pre-look like always i'm really excited for zetterberg though uh what type of season is going to be uh having with us right it's a clear upgrade from Kako to Zetterberg. Even though Kako is a decent player for us, uh, I feel like he's going to be able to play better on a different team. And Zetterberg is just a great addition to the team overall. So I feel like that's just uh, all about the all about the, the stuff, boys. All about the work. You got to go for the best player available in the free agency. I did well to get rid of Kako, to be honest, because I've got a much better player now. All right, so uh, pre-season, uh, pre what did it look like? Uh, one, two, three, four, five wins. So five uh, and two, basically five and two. All right. So it's very similar to last year. As actually, it's very, very similar to last year. Let's just hope that Lukonen is actually better than Shishturkin during regular season, at least. All right. Uh, maybe uh, he's going to be better. Uh, maybe he's going to be the same, but at least he's got to be uh, playing good, right? He's, kind of, he's at least 60. He should be all right. Uh, two, four, six, eight, and ten. So all the way up to the Nashville Predators game. Let's start it up, boys. Start our simulation up right here. First ten games of the season. Uh, a win for the first game against uh, Washington Capitals. Two to one, seven to one win against our former player Capo Caco in its newest team, uh, the Panthers. So there we go. We're wrecking Caco right here with his new team. Uh, Panarin got injured right away. So already we got Panarin who gets injured. Uh, very interesting. So we're going to have to replace him for our, uh, I guess, Rupsov. He's coming in, boys. Now, uh, Rupsov, he can play. Yeah, he can play on either side. Now, how much um, offensive awareness does he have? 83? Uh, 88. Yeah, Fabry is better. So we're going to have to play Fabry. And uh, yeah, Abramov is better. So we're just, just going to have to put Rupsov on the fourth line for now, boys. Uh, we are starting with four wins in a row, though, so that's really good. Uh, we're starting pretty well right here. Let's keep it going. Panarin is back. Good. Good, good, good. We keep winning as well, whether uh, Panarin is there or not. So that's re I, I really like to see that, boys. With the team we have, of course, that first line is just a monster of a first line as well. So it definitely helps for sure. And one thing that I do notice as uh, we gave up four goals for the first time, but uh, we won the game anyways. Uh, one thing that I do notice is we're not uh, giving up a lot of goals, boys. We're actually uh, maximum, like smack mom two goals that we're giving away per game. So that means our goaltender is, uh, our goaltender is doing the job and our defense is really like doing super good. So that's really good for us. Girard is injured now. So now we got to get Clegg in there. Clegg is in there. How much of an offensive? Uh, 82, 86, and uh, he's 88. So we got to put uh, Karenin in there. So Karenin's in there. Let's uh, switch them up like that. And uh, yeah, switch them up like that just for now. Just until uh, I guess Girard comes back up. So we got another win, another win, boys. So we're basically after the 10 games undefeated. 10-0 for the first 10 games. That is fantastic. 15 points for Lafreniere, 6 goals. 10-0, yeah. Let's just take a look at every single one of our team uh, players right here. Uh, lines, really good for the first line. 14 points, a single goal for Zetterberg. So it seems like he's uh, he's passing the puck, boys, quite a lot. Panarin, uh, Panarin's line is doing pretty good. Now, Panarin got injured. Of course, he missed out on one game, basically. Uh, Joshua Hua is doing really good. Uh, Patrick Line as well. He's got nine goals in 10 games played. Uh, Fabry, yeah, Fabry's line uh, is doing really good. And uh, Patrick's line as well. Everybody's doing well. And uh, yeah, 11 points for uh, already for uh, Quinn and Hughes, boys. Karen in. Oh, yeah, yeah. Everybody's doing great. Everybody's doing great, boys. And Lukanen, 942 saving percentage. Woo, that's great. That's a great goaltender. Uh, like hasn't done, hasn't played a single game yet. He hasn't played a single game, so we can't really tell uh, too much right here. Uh, so it's not too much. Uh, what about team stats, uh, really? It's a bit early to look at them, but you never know, right? So, of course, we are by far... Hold on. 
Oh, goals, goals against. No, yeah. Goals against, I mean, below two goals against per game. That's crazy. Five goals per uh, four per game. What the hell? And power play. Uh, we got the second best power play now because it's very early. So the Devils are at 75%. It's going to go uh, all the way down. But at 40%, it's pretty good for us. And we got the second best penalty kill as well. So uh, really good. Really good. We just can keep simulating, boys. We're, uh, we have a, a really good simulation going on. We see the uh, 10 and 0. So let's keep it moving. 2, 4, uh, 6, 8, and 10. So all the way up to the Colorado Avalanche game. Uh, let's see if we can't get that winning streak going a little bit here. Uh, let's keep it moving. There we go. 11 in a row right here, boys. Uh, Ottawa, can we win against them? There we go. 12, uh, 12 and 0, boys. Uh, Edmonton, how's it going? Uh, are we going to win? T 13 and 0, we won against them. 14, a row, uh, 14 wins in a row to start it off, boys. Oh my God, we're doing so well. I've got a stud ass team, boys. I've got a stud ass team. All right, uh, Gerard is back. He's back for the line, boys. Uh, let's bring him back in there. It was uh, Clay who was replacing him. So bring him back in the line right here. You got it, buddy. Uh, I think uh, you were, yeah, you were replacing like that. So you were like that and you were like this. Perfect. Everybody's back in their original lines. Our first loss in the in the season so far in overtime as well. An overtime loss is the only loss that we got, boys, so far. Uh, Hanheim Ducks. Can we keep the winning streak? Get another winning streak going right here. A shootout loss. All right, it's fine. We're getting those points. Uh, bonus points at least. Chicago Blackhawks. Uh, sh another shootout loss. Uh, there's a win against Tampa, uh, Tampa Bay. There we go. In Ottawa. We, should, we definitely can win against them. They're a weak team. There it is. There's a win. So only, well, three losses So in that record. But that's uh, literally three losses in uh, overtime and shootouts. So perfect. 17 and 0 oh and 3 so far for the first 20 games, boys. 28 points, 15 goals in 20 games played for Lafreniere, boys. We are dominating the league. Absolutely dominating the league. I just want to look at the stats for uh, Zetterberg again. I mean, uh, all three of these players. Yeah, they're doing... Oh, my God. Woo! Zetterberg, what a pl player, though. F 24 points, 20 games played. He's a stud. He's helping out Lafreniere and Larkin so far, so much. Panarin doing great. Uh, Roy as well. 12 goals, uh, Line A. All right, so really good. Overall, my players are doing really good. I mean, goddamn Quinton Hughes, boys, got more points than games. So that's a fantastic season for, for him so far. And uh, what about goalies? Now, looking at went down a little bit, but still 9.3 uh, 9 saving percentage. That shit's crazy, man. Much better goaltender than Sechnikov, that's for sure. And uh, like did play his first two games. He's got uh, one win, one loss, a 9.2 saving percentage as well. So he's doing as well a really good play, um, goalie performer for this regular season. Fantastic. And now if uh, just to look at the stats really quick for the uh, team stats, best goal scoring team, best def uh, second best defensive team, power play, second best power play, and uh, second best penalty kill. The Devils are still up there. That's crazy though. The Devils are still up there. All right. Well, um, we're going to simulate another 10 games. Why not? Right. Just another 10 games just for the funds of it. Uh, two, four, six right here eight and ten so all the way up at the toronto maple leaves game let's uh, continue to simulate really quick uh just another 10 games just for the funsies because we're uh we're doing so well you know so i don't want to break anything up uh, really uh lukanen got injured uh so our goalie main goalie is injured it's gonna be uh that's the perfect time for like to ch chime in right there do i want to bring in Ongvik? not really I'm going to give him the chance to grow in the minors right here. So we'll give him his chance right here uh, and stuff. So Garan, you're moving back. Uh, you're going to be our backup for a while here. There we go, Garan. Just be our backup. Uh, like you're going to be a starter for uh, I don't know how many games, but uh, I'm sure you'll do fine, buddy. Fedorov, you're getting in there. All right, so that's uh, that's pretty much that. Let's keep it going. Uh, there's a first regulation loss of this season right there up against the Calgary Flames. That's already two uh, two games, though, for uh, like officially. 
It's going to be three games and four games, just like that for like as a main starter. He's doing very well as well, boys. We got two good goaltenders this year. It's fantastic. I mean, Shesterkin, I enjoyed having him, right? He was a, a good player, a good goalie for us, but he is not on the level of a Lukanen, it seems like. He's a, he's a worse goaltender than Lukanen and, uh, and like even. Like is actually a better play, a goaltender. So we are having everything is working for us, basically. Goaltending is working and uh, defense is working. The offense is working. Everything's working for us. We're having just a very good season so far. So very happy as where we are landing right now uh, at the first 30 games, boys. 24, 3, and 3. Doesn't get any better than this. 37 points for Lafreniere. 51 uh, points for the, our team. We are doing fantastic. And uh, now if we go take a look back at our goalies and stuff, right? Goalies, Brendan Like, uh, is he still injured? Yeah, Lucan is still injured. Uh, before he got injured, he was at a 928 saving percentage. But uh, Like, he's not a starter, right? He still got that 910 saving percentage. Like is doing very good as a main starter, boys. And even Garin, well, Garin's not too good. Garin's not a, a good goalie. Uh, uh, I guess 71 overall is normal. He's, he's going to struggle. But that's pretty much fine as it is. Zetterberg, he's got uh, 34 points. Yeah. Five goals is definitely like he passes the puck quite a lot. He's the one who's going to get the puck quite a lot. And Panarin with Lainey. How much goals? 18 goals for Lainey. All right. Fabry, uh, Fabry, O'Reilly, and Zvechnikov are doing pretty good on their line. I'm really happy about where this is going. Yeah, our team is doing very well, boys. So let's keep it. Uh, we're going to stop it for right now for today. Uh, we had a, a, a really good start to the season. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to get another President's Trophy. If that's the case, boys, I mean, good Lord. So remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.